Hello, student. My name is Gaetan. Today, we are discussing on Grade 11 History, Unit 10, Capitalism and the Growth of Democracy. This unit consists the following subtopic. First one, China and Japan in the 16th and 17th century. Second, the English Revolution. Third one, the Enlightenment. The fourth, the American War of Independence. The fifth one, the French Revolution. The takes the Napoleonic era and its consequence. Seven, the Industrial Revolution. The last subtopic was the Age of Reaction. Student, before starting the topic, the today's lesson, today's lesson includes the following subtopic. The first one, China and Japan in the 16th and 17th century, the English Revolution, and the Enlightenment. After the end of this lesson, you will be able to explain the cause, course, and consequence of English Revolution. List the Enlightenment the Enlightenment philosopher and their own workers explain about the Ming and Chang dynasty of China. Let us see each topic one by one. The first one, China and Japan in the 16th and 17th century. China. China was unified by Han Dynasty about 121 BC. The Han Dynasty unified China. Then China united in a single empire and ruled by absolute emperor. The Chinese officials were well-educated, cultured men, and, but very conservative in outlook. They thought the past was superior to the present and did not see any reason for innovation in Chinese economy, social life, or method of government. The Chinese regard those who lived outside the empire as a barbarians. Student, barbarians means uncivilized. A, the Ming Dynasty. By the way, before Ming Dynasty, there was a lot of dynasty in China. Tang, Song, Tang and Song, Han, those are the dynasty before Ming. The Ming dynasty, it was a powerful and effective. Under this dynasty, culture, Chinese culture in painting and pottery reached at the high level. And the government sent out a series of great voyage and exploration. The Ming governor, they support exploration and overseas voyage. Later, the Ming pair stop overseas voyage and exploration because they assume that there is no benefit from voyage and exploration. By the internal power struggle and foreign attack from Manchuria, the Ming dynasty was declined. After the decline of Ming dynasty, another powerful dynasty controlled China. This dynasty was Chang dynasty. This dynasty ruled China until the early 20th century, 1644 up to 1911. It was a foreign non-Chinese dynasty from Manchuria. In the past, Manchuria was outside from China. Nowadays, one part of China. In 1644, the Manchu took Chinese capital, Beijing, and the Manchu ruler became emperor of China. 
the Chinese landlords and educated class accepted the Manchu rulers. They were saying, the idea of mandate of heaven told to them to accept any dynasty. If it was strong enough, heaven gave the mandate that the authority to a ruler. If a ruler ruled barley, heaven took away this mandate of heaven and given it to someone else. This idea was developed by uh, Chang dynasty. By the way, the Chang governor are neo-Confucianist. They are a neo-Confucianist governor. The Chang government suppressed peasant revolt. The troops and expanded Caesarist regime in Russia, China won this clash. The Chinese traditional culture continued at high in the 17th and 18th century, but it limited the Chinese contact with Europe. About 1759, Guangzhou. Guangzhou in the southern China, the Western trader made trade relation with China. In the first half of 19th century, the Chang was suffered the same kind of decline which earlier dynasty had suffered. In the mid of 19th century, Britain defeated China and imposed the first of unequal treaty on China. China was reduced to a semi-colonial status that is still not a colony and still with its own government, but further to make economic and political concession, which took away part of Chinese independence. Japan had ancient civilization, through not as ancient as Chinese. The Japan borrowed idea and institution, but Japanized them. Student, in the, in the past, you need, especially you need for, you learn about Prince Shotoku and Prince Kotoku. Prince Shotoku and Kotoku, those leaders encourage to borrow new idea and technology from other country, but Japanized them. This idea was expanded about 17th and 16th century. Japan had an empire, but from 12th century onwards, government was in the hands of army commander. The army commander was shogun. The Japan developed a feudal-like society, like that of medieval Europe, Around 1490, Japan entered a long period of peace war between the feudal lords. The great feudal lords was Dimayo. The Dimayo was the feudal warrior called Samurai. The feudal warrior was Tamurai. The Dimayo ruled their own land is called Han. The Dimayo fought against each other to power with their own armies of Samurai. The Tokugawa Dimayo family was in the end successful in the power struggle. The head of Tokugawa family was Iyasu. Iyasu was the head of Tokugawa family. He defeated his rival and made himself shogun in the 1603 and pacified and reunified Japan. Iyasu established what is known as Tokugawa shogunate in 1603 up to 1867. Because in this period, each succeeding shogun was from Tokugawa family. In the 16th and 17th century, Japan, the feudal class consists shogun, dimayo, and samurai. Those are the feudal ruling class. The common people consist the merchant, craftsmen, the great mass of the population, includes under the common people. 
Then in the 17th century and the late 18th century, Japan followed circulation policy. Circulation policy means Japan isolating from other world. Isolation from other world in Japan, this policy, also Japan military technology progress, which exposed Japan to serious danger from the West in the middle of 19th century. This all about Japan and China in the 16th and 17th century. So then, the next lesson, the English Revolution. The last ruler of Tudor family was Elizabeth I. She was from Tudor family. The Tudor family ruled England for a long period of time. The reign of Elizabeth, she was the last daughter of Henry VIII. The reign of Elizabeth was 1558 up to 1603. She was died unmarried. Then she was succeeded by her nearest relative, James VI of Scotland. James VI of Scotland, who becomes James I, King of England and Ireland. He was from Stuart dynasty. Mind you, student, he were from Stuart dynasty. She was from Tudor dynasty. Then the Scottish church was Presbyterianism. During the reign of Elizabeth I, Anglicanism was developed in England. After the 1707, the single parliament and government call become known as Great Britain, usually in short, Britain. All laws and taxation are to be approved by the parliament. The Parliament of England at the time, two houses, House of Lords and House of Commons. The House of Lords consisted head of noble family, archbishop and bishop. They were not elected by the people. They were elected by the king. Second, House of Commons. This was elected and represented by the people. The serious conflict, the serious conflict between the king and the parliament during the reign of Charles I. He was the successor of James I. In 1625 up to 1649, there was struggle between the parliament in one side and the king and the royalists on the other side. The most serious dispute, mind you, some of the scholars say that the main cause for English revolution was foreign policy, money, and religion. Why money become the cause for English revolution? Why foreign relations become the cause of English Revolution? Why religion become the cause of English Revolution? Let us each. During the reign of Charles, England was involved in the two expensive and unsuccessful war with Spain and France. Then, failure to lead criticism of the king and his minister, it related with the foreign, the foreign policy of England. The other one, money. Charles collected money without the parliament approval. In a number of ways with his people felt were illegal. This was related with the money. The third one, religion. The religious problem was growing suspicion between Charles and his French Catholic queen, Henrietta Maria, where taking England away from Protestantism back to Catholicism. So, religion, foreign relation, and many are the best cause of English revolution. Let us postpone to the course of the war. 
The beginning of the revolution, revolutionary Christ began in Scotland. Charles was the king of Scotland as well as king of England. In 1637, without consulting the Scots, Charles imposed English prayer book in Scotland for church service. Then the religious problem where Charles was suspected of begins a sacred Catholic. Thus, the Scots opposed because the book looked like Catholic for the Scots Presbyterianism. Uh, then the king dissolved the short parliament. The short parliament means April up to May. Then Charles wanted to defeat the Scots, but Charles was unable to suppress the rebellion in Scotland. So the king called the long parliament. The long parliament, 1640 up to 1653. The lords and the commons against the king, he accept the laws that limit his power. The first civil war. There was two civil war. The first civil war, 1642 up to 46. In the first civil war, London, the richest part of the country, and the navy support the parliament. In the 1643, the parliamentarians go support from Scotland. The royalists who supported the king was defeated by the force of the, force of the parliament. The parliament organized a newly centralized force. This centralized force was known as the New Model Army. The leader of New Model Army was Firefox and Oliver Cromwell. The main principal leader of the New Model Army was Oliver Cromwell. In the First Civil War, the first civil war was ended by the victory of the parliament because the parliament got support from the middle class, small landowners, and Purtians. Those are the supporters of the parliament in the first English civil war. In 1648, the second civil war was started. Charles attempted to get military victory again. The royalist member joined to the king during the civil war. Another secular philosophy and secular political movement was started. This was known as Leveller Movement. The Leveller Movement issued centralized manifesto. The movement was committed to abolition of corruption, toleration of religious difference. Those are the idea was developed by the Leveller Movement. The levelers had support among the, craft, the craftsmen, wage workers, and also from ordinary soldiers and junior officers of the New Model Army. The low ranks of the army were strong enough to force the army leadership to hold a political discussion in the representative. The political discussion was put in debates. It ended without conclusion. In 1648, the invention of England by Scottish army and royalists the new model army defeated Scots and Royalists. On December 1848, the army excluded all members of the House of Commons. The members of House of Commons who remained were ramp, meaning uh, remnant. The ramp and the army then staged a show trial. Then Charles I was beheaded in January 16. 49. Charles I was beheaded. Then, English, England was declared a republic. The House of Lords was abolished. England was declared a republic and called the Commonwealth. After the Second Civil War, Cromwell moved fast to suppress the liberal movement which demanded democratic reform. In 1614, the leaders of the liberal movement was imprisoned. Then Cromwell said that, for is there you will break them, or you will break you. This was the defeat of the first secular movement in the modern Europe. From 1648 up to 1653, the ramp of the long parliament ruled England appealed by the army. The army and its leader dissatisfied by the ramp in April 15, 
April 1653, Cromwell took the soldiers in the House of Commons and dismissed the ramp, and this ended the long parliament. After Cromwell, the ruling class of England restored the monarchy. It's supported by General Mock. Then, May 1660, the eldest son of Charles I began to rule England. This was known as restoration. Restoration of the monarchy. Charles II was not absolute ruler. He had to rule with parliament and support of nobility and the gentry. The well ruled England, Scotland, Ireland until his days in September 1685. When Charles II died, his brother became king as a James II. James II was a Catholic, so people suspected that he intended to make England a Catholic. Then he was suspected of trying to set up absolute monarchy. Then a group of small ruling class invited William of the Orange, the Protestant leader of Dutch Republic and the husband of Mary. Mary was the daughter of James. Then William was not willing to do this to bring England in the alliance against the power of France, Louis the 14th. Later, William arrived to England on November 1688. The coming of William to England and the fleet of James to France. This was the glorious revolution in England history because power was transformed without bloodshed. This was known as the glorious revolution in England history. The parliament became supreme and it presented the Declaration of Bill of Rights and the document assumed the people certain basic rights. It stands with Magna Carta and Pishino Right. Student, this all about the English Revolution, the next, the Enlightenment. Enlightenment was eight was the 18th century intellectual movement in Europe and America. The center of this movement was France because most of the philosophers are French origin. Enlightenment also means the age of reason or the age of rationalism. France was the center of enlightenment because most of the influential figures of enlightenment was where the French philosopher. Let us see each philosopher one by one. The first one, John Luke. He was an English philosopher. He was the most influential person. He believed that progress was certain if men would use their minds and follow up reason. According to his theory of government, people are the right to life, the right to liberty, and the right to property. John Luke, social contractory, offered the powerful government argue for right of revolution against tyranny. His teaching played a large role in the American War of Independence. By the way, most of the idea that was developed by John Luke is found in the first generation of human rights. Second one, Charles Montesquieu. He was, his origin from France, he wrote a book entitled The Spirit of Law. He proposed to be prevent despotism by a reorganized government. The government power should be separated into executive legislative and judiciary. When you say legislative, executive, enforcement of the law, judiciary, interpreta interpretation of the law. And instead of remaining concentrated in one person or the king, the power must be divided into the three branch of government. This idea was developed by Montesquieu. The other one, Denis Diderot. Diderot also criticized the French old regime. 
he against religious intolerance my end you student he against religious intolerance and just taxation and government absolutism and he wrote a collection of fact book was known as encyclopedia this book was published about 1751 AD. The other one, Caesar Beseria. The origin of this was Italy, an Italian who wanted to reform criminal laws. He was the founder of modern criminal law and criminal justice. The founder of modern criminal law and criminal justice was Caesar Beseria. The other famous Francisco Mario Arios de Voltaire. In short, Voltaire, he was known for his criticism against injustice and despotic French government. He also focused on science and philosophy of the time. He also against the Catholic Church. The other influential one, Rousseau. Rousseau wrote his famous book, The Social Contract Theory. He said that Man is born free, yet we find him everywhere he is in chain. This idea was developed by Rousseau. He maintained that the people have a natural, inalienable right to life, liberty, and property. The contract among themselves, people may create government and grant it power to serve them, and when they dissatisfy the change, the government. Rousseau mainly concentrated on education, foundation for a separate development of child center learning. The child center learning here yeah, was developed by Rousseau. The other one, Adam Smith. Adam Smith originally was Scotland. He was the father of political economy or the founder of political economy and the father of economics also known as by an inquiry into nature and cause of wills of a nation and story of moral sentiment this idea was developed by Adam Smith the other, no, the other one Benjamin Franklin an American also contribute to science political civil activist and was closely involved in the American War of Independence. He was one of the founding fathers of the United States of America. The last influential person, Sir Isaac Newton, is from Britain. He showed how the universe operated by natural law. It had been discovered by human reason. Students, if you learn in grade 9 or in grade, in grade 10 about Newton's law of motion, first law of motion, Second law of motion and third law of motion. The third law of motion was action in reaction. That idea was developed by Sir Isaac Newton. The Enlightenment contribution and its challenge. The thinkers are great confidence in the power of human reason to lead the correct principle and conclusion in all fields. The Enlightenment thinkers was optimistic. By the way, the, the thinkers are optimistic, the society are pessimistic. There was ideal difference between the Enlightenment thinkers and society. Let us see. When you say optimistic mean expecting the best in all possible ways. Optim optimistic means expecting the best in all possible ways. While pessimistic means tending to see the worst aspect of the thing or believe that the worst will happen. Then some philosopher was were openly atheist, but a common attitude was a deism, deism and atheist. Let us see the difference between deism and atheist. Deism means believe that the universe and its natural law needed the existence of creature, their God or Allah or anointing. It also means belief in the existence of supreme being, especially a creature who does not intervene in the universe. Belief on the existence of God, knowable through human reason. When you see atheist, atheist thought religion was not good, was good for the common people. 
but it disbelief or lack of the existence of God or gods. They are anti against religious idea and the existence of God. The Enlightenment was the movement of minority because many people were still illiterate and who were literate did not have money to for expensive book. Leaders of Enlightenment considered the common people too stupid and uneducated to be capable of reason. It is difficult to word student, but there was ideal difference between the common people and the Enlightenment thinkers. During the time, despotism means in the 18th century, mean absolute monarch using power in an unpleasant way and ignoring the laws. Those types of rulers are despotism. The last one about the argument of Rousseau. Rousseau believed that republic was the best form of government. His work was read by many people and his ideas spread by talk about them and he was very influential philosopher. He also believed in a democracy. His idea of general will is very difficult idea but seemed to mean what the people would really want if they really know, what the best for them, what they ought to want. Rousseau economic idea attacked the wealthy which was earned by work and he valued small independent peasant and craftsmen. Generally, today we have seen about China and Japan in the 16th and 17th century. We have seen about the Ming Dynasty and Chang Dynasty. Second one, the English Revolution, the beginning of English Revolution, the days of Elizabeth and James the sixth of Scotland became James the first and ruler of England in Scotland. About 1649, Charles the first was beheaded. In 1688, a glorious revolution in English history. The other one, the Enlightenment. Enlightenment was intellectual movement. This movement was started in France and spread into different parts of the world. The influential persons like John Luke, Rousseau, Adam Smith, Benjamin Franklin, and so on. Student answer the following questions for the next period. The first one mentions the contribution of Enlightenment thinkers. Second, explain the cause, course, and consequence of English Revolution. The last one lists the feudal ruling class of Japan in the 16th and 17th century. Explain about Chang Dynasty of China. What they mean by glorious revolution in England. This is all about today's lesson. Thank you very much, student. Bye bye.